Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So today's video, we're going to be catching the epics on location one of the Japan DLC two. Uh, we're going to be catching the golden koi and the I think it's Oronako, something like that, uh, sailfin catfish up there. Um, so yep, we're going to be going out there to catch these two guys. I'm going to show you. Uh, the easiest method to find the golden koi. That one's probably the trickiest out of the two. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to catch that golden koi first. And then we'll catch the uh, sailfin catfish. So let's go ahead and head out there to location one. And Japan part two, location number one. And here we go. Okay, so here we are on location one. Let's bring up our fishopedia here. Take a look at the epics. So we have the golden koi fish. On this one, we're going to be using a worm. Um, it doesn't have any live baits or live lures or any live baits or lures, um, but we're gonna be using the worm. I'm gonna show you how to catch it with the worm. Now the re reason we're using the worm is because a lot of the other fish like worm. So you know if it's an instant red line that that's not it. However, the Orinoco sailfin catfish also has the worm as its preferred bait and a crawfish, of course. Um, so we know that if it's an instant red line, it could also be those catfish. So then what we would do in that instance is we would switch over to using the crawfish and see if it turns instant red on the crawfish as well. Um, and then if it doesn't, then you know it's one of these other fish that like the, the worm, which are quite a few of them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and go for the golden koi fish first. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up to the top. We're going to make sure that we're on the worm and we're going to go after the swirls. And what we're looking for is a six count when we hit the swirl. So as soon as the uh, worm hits the water, you're going to start counting. I'm going to go ahead and cast one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you go past six, it's usually not it. Um, seven is about the farthest I go. One, two, three. So that's a three count. So we know that that's not it. That's probably the, the red fin or whatever it's called. One, two, three. That was a three count. We know that that's not it. So the red fin, I believe it's what it's called. Let's see here. Yeah, the red fin. That one, I've caught that anywhere from an instant red line all the way up to a seven count. So this thing is all over the place, even though it's preferred bait is the worm. For some reason I catch it, there's tons of them out here. They're everywhere. Um, so you'll know that if you get up to about a seven count or past, then that's probably the red fin. Or if it's an instant red line, it could be that one or many, one of the many other fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a reset. Hard back to expert. Get some more swirls out there. And I went way too far. So I'm gonna bring it up here and I won't start counting until I get right up to where the swirl's at. And one, two, three, that was a three count. Let's go up there, one, two, three, that was too quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, not there. And so there was a bunch of them grouped out here, so more than likely um, one of them is gonna be preferred bait on the worm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a reset again. I'm going to keep doing this until I uh, get a six count and then I'll bring you back. We got more swirls out there. We got a swirl there. That's actually a good size, about the right size swirl there. Bring it closer here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Six count. There it is. Go ahead and catch this guy. Hopefully this is the epic. Like I said, that uh, that red fin is anywhere from instant all the way up to a seven count. So there is a chance that this could also be the red fin. Um, but the golden koi has almost exclusively been a six count for me, uh, counting the speed that I was counting. So, and it is swimming about the way a golden koi would swim. So I'm guessing that we have it right here, and we do. There's our golden koi fish. All right, 
go ahead and keep him. Hey, I'm back up to my 300,000, so now I can start letting him go or buy more stuff. Alrighty. So now we're going to be looking for the sailfin catfish. Again, uh, we're going to be using the crawfish, uh, like a lot of the other epics that we're going to be catching. And we're going to go ahead and it's on all depths. So there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could target the swirls first because those pop up first. So put a crawfish on there, target the swirls. If you get an instant red line, uh, let me go ahead and bring it in. And then switch over to uh, a long line and then target all the bubbles. And that's a couple of the ways to do it. Or you could do the around the clock method where, you know, you cast out here, you reel it in uh, to a five count, reel it into another five count, reel it into another five count. That way is a little bit longer, um, but you do cover a whole area, you know, instead of just hitting the spot, hitting the swirls and the bubbles. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the first method where we're going to go for the swirls first. And then I'll switch over and switch to the bubbles. Now, the problem with switching to the bubbles is even though the catfish and the snakehead do not have crawfish on their um, line, uh, especially the catfish, I get a lot of catfish on crawfish. Um, so you will be getting a lot of catfish if you are targeting the bubbles. Um, every once in a while, I'll also grab a snakehead as well. Um, but I get lots of catfish on the crawfish, even though it's not considered one of its favorite baits. Um, so when you're targeting the bubbles, be prepared that you're going to get some some catfish in there. And so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the crawfish. We're going to target those swirls first, and we got swirls right out there. It's not an instant red line, and it's right in between those two swirls. I know I had a swirl over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and cast out about where it was at, about there, and I don't have an instant red line. Now I did see some bubbles, but they're all gone. I'm gonna go ahead and do a refresh here. Hard back to expert, just so we can get a new set of swirls and bubbles. So we got lots of swirls out there now. It's not an instant red line. It's not instant out there. I'm gonna bring it up here where this swirl is at. And it didn't turn red instantly. There's some bubbles right next to it here. Let's just go ahead and go for those bubbles as well. And you got to wait for it to hit the bottom. And it didn't turn red. All right. So I'm going to bring it back up. Go for these swirls out here. It's not an instant red line. And there's some bubbles out there. Uh, it's not far enough. Probably I'll let it hit the bottom just in case. Nope. Let's try it over here a little bit farther. And let it hit the bottom. Nope, it's not it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a refresh. And I'll bring you back once I get one on the line. Let's check that one, because that one turned red pretty quick. There it is. Yep, we got it. It was one more refresh, so it didn't take long to find it. All right, I'll bring this guy in. And these are actually pretty easy to find. The hardest one is probably the golden koi. And if you just use that six count method, then uh, yeah, you shouldn't have any problems finding it. And the golden koi and this silk and both come in about the same. They don't do a lot of jumping or anything. There we go, silk and catfish. And there you have it. Now you know how to catch the epics on location one of DLC two. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button to build my channel. And that way you'll also get some more tips and tricks like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.